All right, so today we have a little calm, easy video stretches for tired feet. So I wanted to do this one because a couple of weeks ago we had one um, for a lot of tension in the shoulders and neck uh, for those who work all day at a desk. Um, but now I wanted to do one for if we've been on our feet all day. So if we've been on our feet all day at work and we're tired and sore, or even if it's just that you went for a run or a hike or had an event or something where your feet are just tired and you just need a good stretch or just for maintenance to just kind of work on flexibility, believe it or not, in your feet, in your ankles, and just kind of take a little self-care moment. So we're going to stay low to the ground for these because this is calm, this is chill, this is soft movement, and we'll get some great stretches in. And as always, there's going to be a lot of bonus stretch content that is not just for the feet, but of course, the whole body is going to be involved, and I think especially the hips are going to get a lot of love with this one too. So we're going to start in our butterfly stretch. So go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. Now already this is a little side benefit, a little bonus stretch for the hips. So if it feels good or if you want a bigger stretch for the hips, you can bring your feet closer in towards your body. That is going to encourage this wider opening in the hips. Great stretch for inner thighs, great glute, lower body stretch in general. But we're going to be focusing on the feet. So if you're like, man, I just want to just want to focus on the feet here. You can kind of widen out the placement of your feet a little bit, create more of a diamond shape even with your legs, and that's gonna take some pressure off of the hips. And as always, you can sit up on a pillow or a blanket or something and get extra comfy. A lot of these stretches, as is the case with the Calm series, you can probably do sitting on the couch, watching TV, you can do these um, before bed. They're really chill. So from butterfly, we're going to bring our thumbs to the soles of our feet and just kind of apply a little gentle pressure there. Just starting to pay attention to our feet a little bit. Good. And then I am going to bring my feet just a little bit closer in towards my hips. You can keep or towards my body, you can keep yours where they are, whatever feels good for you. And I'm gonna just bring my hands to my ankles and just same thing, like just apply a little bit of gentle pressure there. Good, and then I'm gonna wrap my hands around my ankles. You can kind of let your thumbs rest wherever it feels good. If there's like a little spot, maybe towards the arch of your feet or more towards your heels, that it feels good to kind of dig your thumbs in gently, but a little bit of pressure there, you can do that. And then I'm gonna roll my shoulders back and down. So I'm gonna sit up nice and tall here. This is our butterfly stretch where we are strengthening the back, working on the strength of the spine, working on that beautiful tall posture. Kike. Every time I start filming, you have to play right behind the camera. She's gonna find the tree. She's thinking about it. She's scoping out the situation. Okay, take a couple of cycles of breath, nice and slow here. Really try to press the uh, soles of your feet or press your feet in towards each other here. So really strong in the lower body, strong through the back. You can drop your chin to your chest. You tick tock your head back and forth. And you do some easy circles, drawing circles with the nose to get a little movement through the neck. Good. And then we're going to wrap or interlace our hands, wrap them around toes. An inch forward, a little bit here. We're going to come into a fold. So if this doesn't feel good in your body or if it's just not in your range of motion, you can stay holding on to your ankles. 
or again, you can kind of move your legs out a little bit, give yourself a little bit of room. But we're gonna try to come into a fold. So we're gonna let elbows bend here and press against shins as we lean forward. So wrapping hands around our feet, you can kind of squeeze your feet a little bit, a little light pressure here. Take a couple of cycles of breath, nice and slow. go ahead and release that awesome job. We're going to transition to all fours now. Okay, so from all fours, we're going to start with our knees wide and actually I changed my mind. We're going to start from tabletop. Just kidding. We're going to start from tabletop. So we're going to have our wrists about underneath shoulders, knees about underneath the hips. And I'm going to come onto my tiptoes here. So curl your toes under. And then just nice and easy, gonna walk my hands back and come to sit onto my heels. So try to touch all 10 toes, if you can, onto your mat, press them into the floor, wherever you are. We're just gonna take a couple of cycles of breath here, getting a nice stretch through the foot. Really feeling that, of course, in the toes. We're relying on a lot of strength from our toes right now, but also feeling that through the punches. Good, and then we can come back forward into our tabletop. Awesome job. Now, from tabletop, I'm going to extend my left leg out long. And again, I'm going to come onto my tiptoes here, curling toes under, and I'm just going to start to rock forward and back. Waking up in the leg, but also, of course, on the theme, getting that stretch through our left foot. This is also a really, really great calf stretch as well. And as you rock back, really try to actively press that foot back behind you like you're pressing it into a wall. You can pause there, big breath in and out. Awesome stretch through that left leg from hip all the way down to the foot. And then rock forward, come out of that, rock back again. Pause there for two cycles of breath. And then rock forward and then back one more time. And then forward. Now I'm going to slide my left toes over towards the right side of my mat, even off the mat a little bit here. Same thing. I'm going to actively press that foot away and I'm going to turn to look at my left foot past my right shoulder. Good. And then slowly come out of that, slide that left foot all the way out to your side. So it's going to come right out to the left side and we're going to do a little off camera here, but we're going to try to bring that foot flat on the floor. So you can widen out your space here a little bit, take up as much room as you need to. Press your foot flat on the floor, that left outer edge of the left foot, really try to bring that down to touch the floor. That's going to make this stretch even bigger and then you can slowly start to rock forward and back again feeling this stretch from the hip all the way down to the foot really great for inner thigh as well Good. one more cycle of breath here nice and slow and then you can go ahead and slide that left leg back into tabletop and we're going to go ahead and take it to the other side so extending the right leg out and then doing that gentle rocking forward and back warming up through the right leg 
good. And then rock back, really press that right foot back behind you, like you're reaching, reaching, reaching your heel behind you. Take two cycles of breath here. And then release. And then again, press, 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 and take two cycles of breath nice and slow. Go for a run this morning, so I'm really feeling this with my quads and calves. I know my feet are gonna thank me. You can come out of that and then one more time. Good, and then we'll slide the right foot over towards the left, off the mat here, look past left shoulder, and really press that heel back behind you. And then through center over towards the right, we're gonna bring that foot flat on the floor, really pressing the right edge of the right foot down into the floor to extend the stretch and then we'll rock forward and back nice and easy. And a big breath in. Exhale, slide that leg back to tabletop. All right, now we're gonna bring our knees super, super together here. We're gonna come onto the tops of our feet and we're gonna go ahead and sit hips back and bring forehead down to the floor. So we're gonna just try to come into this little ball here almost. If it feels good, you can kind of swipe your hands back behind you palms up, you can rock gently left to right on the forehead if that feels good. Just take two cycles of breath nice and slow. And then nice and easy, nice and gentle, we'll bring the palms flat onto the floor. Super slow, roll on up, back to a seat. And then we're just gonna stay here for a couple cycles of breath. Spine nice and tall here, rolling shoulders back and down. Kind of letting the weight of our body rest on our feet, rest on our heels, the tops of our feet. We're gonna work on a little toe balance, but don't worry, we're gonna have several steps here. So, first of all, I'm gonna have you come onto your feet down low on the floor. So, we're gonna place our feet wide. We're gonna bring our fingertips to the floor in front of us here. And we're gonna come to little froggy feet. So, one at a time, we're gonna go ahead and come onto tiptoes basically just stretching out each foot individually, but fingertips are out in front of us for support here. So this isn't like a full deep squat. If that's not in our range of motion, that is a-okay. Use the floor for support. Just a couple of notes while you're here though, try not to collapse fully in your shoulders. We wanna go ahead and bring shoulders back and down, chest open here. Just move nice and slow and easy, doing this a couple of times, just as it feels good. And if you've absolutely had enough, you can go ahead and come to sit back and you can even do this from here, like one at a time, just kind of lift and lower your heels um, with bum on the floor. So several options here, or you can come to that first stretch we did in butterfly and just kind of Massage your feet a little bit more, and we'll catch up. So one at a time, we're gonna go through this little froggy squat. Good. And then we're gonna try to bring our feet together here. So again, fingers are on the floor for support. I'm on my tiptoes, on my toes, bringing knees together. 
can stay here, stretching out through the feet. Or if you want to try a little bit of balance, you can let go of your contact with the floor and bring your hands to rest on thighs. Good. We're trying to sit up nice and tall here, rolling shoulders back and down. If you kind of tumble out of this, that's okay. The floor is there for us. We want to go a little further. We could bring palms together, elbows wide. So again, we're on tiptoes, heels are off the floor. This is a lot of work for the feet. You're doing amazing. Wherever you are, one more big breath in. And then exhale to release. I'm going to widen my stance out again through that little froggy squat. But option to maybe plant the heels. We can keep our hands on the floor for support here. In our wide low squat and using your elbows pressing against your inner thighs, you can kind of get a little deeper into this. You can still add in that movement if that feels good. Awesome. One more big breath in. Exhale, we're going to go ahead and bring hands behind us and come to a seat. All right, we're going to extend our legs out long now. Sitting up nice and tall here. You can bring your hands to the floor beside you for support. You can bring your hands to your thighs, whatever feels good. I'm going to flex the feet, so toes pointed towards you. Try to really exaggerate this, like flex your feet as much as you can, as much as that feels good in your range of motion. You're going to probably feel your calves activate, maybe even your quads, your hamstrings, and then point the toes, same thing, just as far as that feels good for you. Bringing the stretch to the tops of the shins. I'm going to do that a couple of times. So move nice and slow here. Just cleaning and flexing. Taking a couple of cycles of breath in each spot. Go one more time. And then one at a time, actually let's bend the left knee, I'll do this together, and then I'm going to go ahead and catch the right foot in my left hand. You can go ahead and bring your ankle just above your left knee, we don't want to put pressure on the knee, you can bring it just above, into a little seated figure four. And you can bring your hands back behind you for support, not collapsing in the shoulders, but open in the chest, and then we're going to just Rotate the ankle one way and then the other. Careful again with your placement of your calf or ankle not on your left knee. You don't want to put any undue pressure on the joints. Get a little bit of movement through the ankle. Also getting this beautiful figure four which is amazing for hips and glutes and quads all over body. And then we can release that. Same thing on the other side. Left calf, if we can, or ankle above the right knee. Lean back, chest open. And then we'll go ahead and rotate through the left ankle. Awesome. Go ahead and release that. Great job. You can end back in our butterfly with a little bit more pressure wherever you need it, whether it's in the arches or the ankles or the heels or the tops of the feet. We'll end here with just two more cycles of breath, nice and slow.
Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm super proud of you for taking time for yourself. Let me know what easy, calm, gentle stretches you want to see next. You can comment below the video and tell me. I'm always open for suggestions and I love hearing from you guys. I hope that you take good care and I will see you next time. Stay. You're sweeping? Stay. You got all my toys. Wow.